Today, we're at Battle of the Bowties. <laughs> Beat him? Let's see. 48. Yeah, by a little. Woo! <laughs> uh, I gotta tell you to, to slow it down to 10 seconds. My happy sock. Hey, this is my new, uh, my dead rat on my microphone, which you probably couldn't hear me because the microphone was now pointed away, but. That won't happen again. Uh, but over here, we have lots of cars. We got Maple Fed, we got Bowtie, we got me. We just got here, we're setting up. Um, ARS is over here, you got Whipple over here. We're at Battle of the Bowties. Today is the day we run lethal in the quarter mile and see what the heck this car can actually drive. So it's it, it got really dewy on us this morning, which is fine. Um, but sun's gonna come out, it's still early. It's like 7 a.m. right now. Uh, racing doesn't start till 10, uh, but it's gonna be a good day. So expect lots of videos, shenanigans, and racing, and final, or at least current, quarter mile lethal times. Now keep in mind the first few runs, we are gonna not run our hard because we wanna get some data. We have not run quarter mile on everything, so we need to dial in the four and five shifts and everything, make sure everything looks good there. Um, but once that's done, full send. We're doing it, let's go. People are starting to arrive. Uh, got a lot of cars showing up. Whipple guys have all gotten here. We got Steve showed up. What's up, Steve? Steve's here. He forgot his freaking lug nuts. His nuts haven't dropped yet. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we we have the driver's meeting, so we got to get out to the driver's meeting and get this thing going. So uh, next up is going to be getting the car running, and let's get some runs in, baby. So our good friend Indicable shows up racing in his car, freshly built with all sorts of power. And what did you forget? What did you forget? Tires. He didn't bring his freaking drag radials. You know what he said? I didn't know I could race if I didn't have the front skinnies. Have you ever been racing before? No. He hasn't been racing before. Ever. Ever. But I miss you, man. Me too, man. If you guys don't know Indicable, this guy's awesome. Modelo time. No, you're not oh, drinking no. anymore. Oh, I know. Look at this guy. Look at, he's losing weight Camaro like me. Con. Camaro Con. We're going to drink. Camaro Con. Are we? Yeah. Oh, we're, gonna we're getting our drink on Camaro Con. We're going to race. That's too. happening. And we got Dre over here. If you guys don't know Dre. President, West hey Coast Marrows. You ready to judge some cars today? Yeah, um, whoever pays the most, guys, that's, that's what it's really up to right now. So. Hey, wait, hold on. Where's my wallet? <laughs> hey, you can, so he just basically just said you can bribe the uh, the entire, uh-oh. Yeah, I need some new slicks. We got driver's meeting, we gotta go. All right, bro. <laughs> Your new car's looking good, man. Thanks, See, he's, he's, he upgraded. It's a little slower now. It, <laughs> yeah, something like that. Okay, driver's meeting, we gotta go. Okay, guys, we're getting a little bit of heat into the car, warming it up, but we're gonna do our first pass. We're only gonna do an eighth mile, maybe a little bit more. Partial burnout, just wanna see how it feels on a prep track. So uh, I'm gonna try to let her eat off the line, but I'm just, I'm not gonna, uh, I'm not gonna rev it up yet. So we'll see. It felt good. I mean, you could look on that run. I, I got on it a little bit halfway down the track and I was like, okay, this feels better. Yep. Like I, I got a little more comfortable with it. I was just nervous I was gonna wheel hop again. Okay. So. Yeah, you did the right thing then. And that was, it actually like when I hit the gas, it felt like it hooked and went. But I didn't, I, didn't, I was definitely not full throttle at launch. Like I, I was not. I was like, okay, it launched okay. Now I'll give it a little juice. passes we've gone through the rigmarole let's see what this car can actually do at this track we took out a lot of throttle just because we don't want to snap axles because uh, i do have 
have my stock axles right now. The DSSs are in for being looked at. Uh, we think one of them was making a weird sound all the way back to when I broke my drive shaft. Yeah, it was on me. I didn't ship it in right away. But um, yeah, we're gonna, they're, I think they're re-prepping track or doing something to the track right now. But we're gonna go ahead and send it and see what happens. And uh, wish for the best. <laughs> us I don't know if I'm doing too much of a burnout too little of a burnout I mean I let the tires cook that time maybe it's just time for new tires yeah he was a lot faster <laughs> Quarter, I, and I'd still like so it didn't spin, 
kind of fed, I laid into it. I didn't just stomp it. So I think maybe if we take another degree out of the throttle, the track's getting, it's pretty bad right now. Um, still low one four, 60 foot. I think we can get the one threes. Oh my gosh, this is getting better and better. I'm telling you guys, there is a nine seven in this car. There is. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. Yeah, I know I'm not the fastest and I never claim to be and I never will be. I'm never gonna sink that much money. This is a fully loaded car. It, there's nothing stripped out of this car. I think it's like almost 4,200 pounds and we're running nines. We got the 9.9, we almost got the 9.8. We let the car cool off, it's definitely cool off. The DA has gone down by like 800 points. Um, fresh fuel in the car. We didn't make any changes. No changes, so let's try this. what I thought it was so we lost a spark wire what happened this has happened before but basically the water line fell down and pushed the spark plug line onto the header and it melted and it was sparking like crazy and 1035 because we we lost we basically lost the cylinder so um, fixing it we have we're borrowing maples so I can run Mike because that's gonna be the next thing that's happening and uh, we'll see what I get, and what I get is what I get. Maybe we won't get what I hope for, but you know what? I'm I'm happy enough as is. So let's get this fixed and get the last run in. Let's do it. So it is time for the race. I don't know if you guys could see, but Mike's 68 LS7 NA Monster. He ran a 10.04, no, a 10.003, almost a nine. So he's he's very good at the tree. This is gonna be a, either a very close race or I'm just gonna cry. This is it, boys, last run of the day. Slightly nervous, but you know what? If Mike wins, he wins. If not, it'll be the first time I could say I actually beat him. Best run of the day, best run ever, period. Uh, it wasn't my 9.7, but they told me I couldn't go any faster because I don't have a cage. I think today was a success. Uh, there's still more work to be done. I can't, we need to put some probably Viking shocks in the back. I think that's probably the next maneuver. Get better, because we just have stock springs in the mag ride. We need to get rid of that mag ride. 
we got it. We, we, we're not putting all the power to the ground, so we had to pull a lot out. So that's really the next step is getting to that next that next phase. So a lot of you guys are a lot of steps ahead of me on the internet. Again, I never claim to be the fastest or even fast at all, period. But I'll take a 9.8 all day long. Um, so yeah, Battle of the Bow Ties 2019. Should have been 18, but rained out. So now we're in 2019. Good times. Huge shout out to Red Barn Racing. If you guys need your car built or tuned, freaking Mike. This guy is amazing. He got my car into the 9.8s and it will go even faster. Uh, huge shout out to him. Um, yeah, good stuff. That's all I got. Until next time, guys. See you on the road. So lethal after hours here. So I, I have to caveat. I was only as fast as I was last run because of Maple's spark plug wire. So we stole his spark, spark plug wire. That was the only difference between the two runs. Had nothing to do with the temperature being colder or the DA. It was... It's actually hotter out. Yeah, but it's the DA drop. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, the car survived. We had no broken parts that I know of, except, oh no, that's not true. We did lose fender liners. So we ate a few fender liners today because I didn't put the bolts back in. Look, oh, it's gone. So yeah, add, add fender liners back to car. We definitely killed, we killed a ton of bugs. Look, this car was only driven on the racetrack bugs everywhere i'm sure it's not like you east coast guys but oh man bugs everywhere but look at this wait don't close that hood yet i just want to let you guys know this car ran a nine 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 all in a ls7 you're wondering why i want to build an ls7 it's because of this ls7 it's because of that one it is so pretty this car is beautiful I get, if you're wondering why I didn't build a 68 or a 69 or a first gen in general, it's not just because Mike has one, but I just, I would never be able to build it to look better than this. So why, why even try? So let's do a second gen, which is my favorite Z28 RS, which I'm doing. And then we'll have nice first and second gen combined. It'll be good. And then I, I do want to say, if you guys saw my Instagram story, I'm very proud of Maple. He replaced his air filter today. This was a lot redder this morning. Well, that's what happens when you're on Pretty sure. <laughs> Is that why mine just turned black? Yeah, it's nice. So it was it was good. Everything worked out today, guys. We all did good. <laughs>